Well, good afternoon, and I've come to Bassenthwaite Lake for a bit of a wander and some landscape photography. Why not come with me? Right, well good afternoon. We're in the very early afternoon. It's probably about half past twelve and I've just come for a bit of a wander around Bassenthwaite Lake. It's not a, an area I'm particularly familiar with, although literally I'm not very far away. So um, a couple of things. I've forgotten to put my GPS on so there won't be a map of where I've been. Um, just excuse me while I'm walking down these steps, which is a bit difficult and videoing at the same time. And so what I've done, I've driven along the A66 and turned off at Dubworth. And there's a little space you can park just before you get to the river over where the Derwent flows out of Bassenthwaite Lake. So that's where I've come to to park and have a bit of a wander around maybe we have a walk along the river see what we can find hopefully we'll get some nice images and anyway we'll see you a bit later Right, well we've come up with our, shall we say, first proper composition where we're actually using the tripod. I did take a handheld shot as we were walking here and if it was any good you will have seen it. But we're just walking through the woods here by the River Derwent, that's the River Derwent there as it flows from out of Bassenthwaite towards Cockermouth. So we're just walking along here. There's not an awful lot. It's very pleasant, very serene. But I don't think there's going to be an awful lot of um, stunning compositions. But I was just walking through here. And I just thought that this path and looking... If we come slightly across here, looking down, was, was quite nice. And we've got this tree um, coming over. And I did originally think, because as I got here and turned round, if we look back to where the camera is, that, that, that might make um, quite a good composition. Uh, but in the end I decided the one looking the other way was the best. And it, it's actually quite dark in here. I mean, the human eye is an amazing thing. And it doesn't particularly look dark. But the... Um, initial setting at 100 ISO was uh, oh, about 0.3 of a second and there is a bit of a breeze so I needed to get it up. I mean if we look at the, the back of the camera there as we look up into the, the actual composition we'll see that I've upped the ISO to 400 and that gives us um, an 11th, sorry a 15th 
of a second, I was going to say 11th of a second, but that's uh, F11, a 15th of a second, which I think was sufficient to uh, to freeze everything. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully that's quite a nice little composition. I'm not particularly into woodland photography. I mean, I, I quite like some of the images I see, but I haven't quite got my head around how, how to capture them. So maybe, maybe this is a start just seeing that, the path wandering in in to the distance and, and catching that with the trees and that so hopefully um, I'm sure one of them will be reasonable we'll put the image up and I'm sure we'll find some more images so yeah I'll stop waffling we'll put the image up and we'll carry on walking and hopefully you like this wooden image So we've come as far as I think we're going to come along the river. I've taken um, a screen grab of the map on the phone. So we are where the red triangle is now, Buckholm Island. And I'm just not, there's just nothing really to, to images to be captured, I don't feel. So what I'm going to do is walk back along towards Armourthwaite Hall then back onto the road and down and then we're going to just go along there's a footpath on I suppose you'd call it the the northeastern shore of the lake and we'll go down there a bit and see if we can find anything so yeah that's where we're going to go um, the weather is variable it's obviously not particularly um, wet but you just keep, there's the odd little shower and occasionally the sun comes out quite bright so it's difficult <laughs> getting um, the right filter on the, the video camera here. So yeah, right, we'll carry on and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, we've now come past Armourthwaite Hall, which is a four-star 
luxury hotel and also the um, there's a sort of wildlife park that we skirted on as we got there I have taken a couple of handheld images if they're any good you'll have you'll have seen them and we've come to this spot we're on a footpath on our way to Scarness I don't think we're going on any further because it is all very much fields etc now the lake is over there and there was some tracks so I might see if I can follow those tracks get near the lake see if there's anything there but as I came over the stile I could see this tree that you can see there just zoom in on it and I thought it was quite a nice composition with the tree with um, the fells behind which are Dodd and Eel Crag I think um, if I've got that wrong I shall put a correction up on the video so yeah so we've got the camera there it's not it's not ideal because we haven't managed to get um, the lower branches are slightly intersecting with the fell but we've done our best and I tried going closer so I could get lower but then I was having to look up at the tree too much and it didn't just look right so hopefully it, it, it's quite a nice composition um, I've tried to get it so the trunk comes out the V between the two fells um, so if we come around there you, s you see what I mean you've got the fells behind so yeah it is anyway we'll stop waffling if it's any good we'll put it up on the video and now we're going to try and head back to the lake and then back towards the van and then see what we're going to do from there so anyway we'll see you a little bit later <music> Right, well we couldn't, we followed those tracks and we got them towards the lake edges but couldn't find, there was a footpath marked on the map coming uh, more or less along the edge of the lake but we couldn't find that so we've ended up coming back to the road so we're going to head down here to the bridge, over the bridge and then try and hug the, the, the lake shore along there going towards the, the yachting club see if there's anything along there before we head back towards Keswick so anyway we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've now come up with our final composition. We did um, walk to, I don't know whether it's the Bassentway Boating Club or Yacht Club, but um, there was no way to get there to get access to the, the lake shore and the footpath, there was bushes all the way along. So I went back to the van and um, part way home, I've driven along the A66 and if you're familiar with this, just as you're going towards Keswick, there's a bit of dual carriageway. And just as the dual carriageway is coming to an end, there's a parking 
lay-by, parking lay-by, whatever you want to call it, and I've pulled in there, and we're more or less opposite, um, I don't know whether you can see there, that's St Bega's on the Meyer House Estate. Now I did, uh, I think it was a couple of years ago now, I did, when I was doing some work at Meyer House, um, put together a little video of going to the church and photographing the church and a, a photograph of the house and that. So I'll put a link up to that above at the top here now and I'll also put it in the description uh, tab below for anyone who is interested. And yeah, it's a difficult one. I've done one um, landscape composition, zoomed in as much as I can. Rarely could have done with my even longer lens. I do have a 100-400, which would have been far better than... Uh, I've just got the, the 70 to 200 on, on the camera there that you can see to try and zoom in on the, on the church. And I've taken it, I'll, I'll maybe crop in in post-processing. But then the other one I've taken, and we'll see if I, I put the B-roll up from on the, the camera. We've got, as the camera is uh, sat now, we've got a portrait composition. Um, and I think, yeah, we're about 120 mil. So basically you've got the church in the bottom of the frame and showing the full extent of... Um, I'm trying to think what um, peak that is. I think it's Dodd, isn't it? Is it Dodd? Or is it Eel Crag? I can't remember. Anyway, whatever it is, I'll put it up on the video to let you know. So, yeah, I mean, I've, it's an image I've taken before. I just thought it would round off this little trip to to the bottom end of Bassenthwaite to see what Bassenthwaite Lake to see what we could find. So we'll put that those images up if they're any good and we'll see you a little bit later. going to bring it to an end here we're um, back at the lay-by we're going to get in the van and then head home yeah I was a little disappointed with today's little wonder I thought there might have been a bit more to be had um, I mean it was if you were just going for a walk in the countryside very pleasant well most of it was very pleasant place to meander and that but when it comes to landscape photography, there wasn't an awful lot to be had. It was was limited. Most of the footpaths were in in woods, etc., with not much much to see. So, yeah, a little disappointed. But hopefully, I got some reasonable images that hopefully you will en enjoy. But yeah, just to remind people, if you have enjoyed the video, please click the thumbs up. It does great things for the algorithm. And if you like what I'm doing, please, please subscribe. We're trying to, my next um, target is 750 subscribers. We're up to, I think last time I looked was 611. And if you do, if there's anything, and I really do appreciate this, please comment. All comments are much appreciated. And it helps me to gauge what people, if people are enjoying it, if there's things that people don't like or that they do like, etc. So, yeah, please comment. And now this is Monday. It's all being well. This should go up on Sunday. And I have got a short video that I took um, on on Saturday going over to get said. I stopped at the 
South Tyndale Railway in Alston and took some pictures of that. So hopefully that will go up on, hopefully I can get that done and that will go up. There's a bit of a bonus video, midweek video, short video on Wednesday. And I'm not quite sure where we're going to go. Maybe at the weekend we'll try and go somewhere. It's a while since I've been where, or not that it's guaranteed, but I know that there's going to be some epic locations with great images, great composition. So I'll maybe look out and, and that. Um, just life seems to get getting top of me at times with work and trying to do this and various other things so um, it's the planning that goes to pot there are the thoughts of what to do but um, yeah I mean like this morning I decided it was going to come out today last night I couldn't my brain couldn't compute and this morning I thought oh right let, yeah let's try going around the bottom end of Bastondale I've never been there before and as I say I was a bit disappointed hopefully got some nice images um, it's not a place I'll be particularly going to again for photography. Uh, it's a nice place to have a wander. So, yeah, not quite sure where next. But anyway, we'll leave it there and we'll see you on the next video.